Guess what, besties? We are on a girls' day out. Lexi, Taylor, Brighton, towards the mall. mall. See the mall, but where are we now, Lexi? We're at this place called Spitz. They have like Mediterranean food. It's really good. Taylor, this lighting and stuff with your skin looks really cool. Really? Like you look tan. Like we should do a photo shoot. My shirt kind of matches the. Lexi wanted some five guys, so we are heading over there to get some food for Lexi. Okay, Lexi got a cheeseburger and a drink, so now we're just picking what drink to get. <laughs> Look how cool. I actually love these machines. We should get one of these in our new house because they're so cool. She's getting Dr. Pepper Cherry. We got our food. Well, Lexi got her burger. Now we're going to go back to the meet up with Taylor and my mom. Yum! We were just saying how funny it is, how important it is to eat food before you go shopping because, okay, it's kind of like undescribable unless you know the, the feeling, but when you go shopping on an empty stomach and you're there for a couple hours, it is just like, uh, like I don't know how to explain it. Nothing looks cute and you just feel like your feet hurt, but then as soon as you eat the food at the food court, it's like, oh, like eating before shopping is so important for some reason and it's kind of vital. We're so glad we stopped at eight. Like, I don't think any of us realized how hungry we were and then after we finished eating we're like oh my gosh I, yeah. we all really needed that food <laughs> it's almost like the therapy part of retail therapy doesn't work without the food exactly it becomes retail what you need food yeah act normal what <laughs> okay guys we're here we're at the mall we made it now we're just gonna do some shopping the thing is guys i got a gift card for mother's day not just one gift card but a few gift cards to nordstrom i'm gonna spend them because hey i'm your mother yep <laughs> You fit right in. Which one is the statue? Which one is Taylor? Why it's so hard to tell. They have like lipstick on. <laughs> they do, they have lipstick on. That's the cutest cover up. Yeah, this would be such a cute cover up. We, we love the um, textured Terry. Isn't that so cute? Now we're looking at perfumes. This is candy. Yeah, but it's like how. Taylor says this. This is they're out of it. Dang it! Do you guys have a favorite perfume that you love, like your go-to perfume or one that you just love, love, love? Comment down below and let us know. We already have. What's the kind we have? Daisy. Oh yeah, Mark Jacobs Daisy. Mark Jacobs. Mark Jacobs. And we all share it. It's just in my bathroom. But we just need one more that we can all share. So we're thinking about getting the candy by Prada. I love the candy by Prada. I got a sample of it once. It was amazing. As we were smelling perfumes, there was this really cute lady. I could just tell she had good taste. I'm like, what do you wear? that you love. She took us this perfume. She said, I get stopped all the time. People ask me what I'm wearing. And she said, this is it. It's Honeysuckle. Joe Malone. Joe Malone. Does it say London on it? Yeah, it does. London is going to love that. I want these so bad. Look that's at the color. Honey, <gasps> they're kind of like the very peri color. Like they're so cute. Oh, these are running. Oh, that's so cute. These aren't good for running. Trust me, I have some. My AirPods broke and my mom lost my dad's pair of AirPods. So we're here to get new AirPods for me and my dad. You guys, we have a bestie. She's here at the mall. Hi. What's your name? Debbie. Oh, I love that name. Good to meet you. Okay, look how cool. They have a Stranger Things makeup collection. So they have like eyeshadow pal uh, palettes, like Coat Red, Demo Bat, Demo Gorgon. My what? Player. And look, they have like this too. This one it has like, it's like Friends Don't Lie. Um, no way, Friends Don't Lie. He likes it cold. And like, yeah. They have a bunch of stuff like that. That is actually so cool. Mm -hmm. Are you tempted to get some? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the first outfit. Brighton is trying some things on at Zara. She has some white shorts and a striped shirt. That's really, really, I love the shirt. It's cute. Um, really cute. I like it, and I love the shorts. I feel like the shorts are a little bit big, so I would want to get a small. I love the shirt. Yeah, so cute. Love it. Yeah. Besties, we just got home, and oh my gosh, we literally shopped till we dropped. Drop. We were shopping. <laughs> we were shopping for seven hours. Well, we left seven hours ago, but we made a stop really? at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Well, we went to Spit, and then we went to the mall, and we got some Father's Day things, and we got a few things for other people. In fact, I want to show you some of the things we got. And then we went to oh, the grocery store, and Taylor got a bunch of stuff to make yummy dinners because Taylor makes all of her dinners now, which is amazing. And then we went through Swit. We're home. Can but I Lexi, see, can I show what we got? Yeah. 
Yeah, Lexi, will you show some of the things? Okay, we start. Brighton got this. Brighton got a couple shirts with Zara. She's got these for her and her friends to match. And Brighton then, is going on a trip with her friends really soon to St. George, and they want to match, so she's been shopping for like matching shirts. And then we got this perfume from Zara. It smells really good, we love it. And then we got some perfume from Jo Malone. We got the, the Honey Huckleberry. Honey Huckleberry. Honey Huckleberry. That was one of the presents I got with my Mother's Day gift card from Kyle and the girls, which I'm so grateful for. And the other present I got with my gift card. Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys this. Okay, all, okay. And then we got here. Then we got a present from my dad. He's gonna edit this video, so he's not allowed to see what it is. We'll have to show you soon. And then Brighton got these Tevas. If you saw like, the Church and Jacob vlog, I don't know if we included it, but my Tevas that let me give you for my birthday went missing. They literally disappeared out of thin air. They were in one corner one second and gone the next. So when these guys were little, we were losing shoes like everywhere. We basically scattered all of Utah with shoes. We're constantly losing shoes when they were all little. It has to happen in a long time, so it's about time someone lost a shoe. Yeah, I lost a pair of shoes that I got for my birthday and I <laughs> love them. And since I'm going to St. George, I was like, I need some essential sandals. And these aren't the same color I got, but these were just as cute. So I was like, I'll just get these because they're adorable. I love them. My dad's AirPods got stolen. So we got him some new ones and then we got- well, They didn't actually get stolen. Oh, I, I, I actually think it was me that lost one. Well, like sadly. one of them. I just had one yeah. in my ear and I don't know what happened to it after that. I thought maybe, maybe I gave it to him. Maybe I didn't, maybe. It was probably very, me because I lose a lot of like, things. Yeah. And then we got Taylor some really because stuff. one of her, like her right one just snapped in half and the other one got stolen. Hers did get stolen yeah. out of her car. Yeah. And then so we got two pairs of our pods for them. And, and then we got a bunch of candles. I'll show you them. We got, we got, we got um, two, two of, of this one. A lot of them are like half off so we're like might as well. We got two of these ones. Some of them are for Rad. Well, I think mm -hmm. this one's for Rad. This one's for me and Taylor. We were talking about how it'd be so great if when people went into the Radson store, oh, if they had just an all around really good experience. Like if it smelled really good from a candle and we like offered them chocolate. We were thinking oh. about how we should offer them chocolate and maybe like little Diet Cokes or something and just like the really good music, just everything we want it to be amazing. So we got some candles for us. And we also got this one. This one smells exactly like Starburst. Like it smells yeah. so good. Yeah. We got two of these. Yeah. yeah. They were half off. So that was awesome. So we also got last thing from Math Muddy Works this hand soap in the same scent as candle because it literally smells so good. And who doesn't love these like foam soaps from Math Muddy Aren't they so great? So one thing that I love about this, um, we we bought these two things as gifts. We're gonna give them to my sister-in-law, but I was just gonna tell you something really cool. I was telling my girls as we were buying our candles, I was like, you know what we should do? We should adopt this, and I wanna tell you guys so you can adopt it too, because I think it's the coolest tradition. You know how there's always somebody you know who is needing your prayers, probably, but that's just how it is, right? I've heard the quote before where if you treat most people like they're going through something really hard, 50% of the time you'll be right. So 90%? 90%? Well, the quote might have been 50, but I think- 100% of the time. 100% of the time. I mean, everyone, there's just a lot of hard things going on in the world right now. So what my friend does is she lights a candle. Her name's Emily Bell Freeman. And she said when she's praying for somebody, she lights a candle in her house and then every time she walks by it, she thinks about the person she's praying for. And it reminds her to keep praying for them. I just think that's something I wanna start doing here in our house and remind our girls like, okay, we're lighting this candle for so-and-so. And then every time we see it, we'll think of that person and say a little prayer in our hearts for them. So it's been like an ongoing prayer for somebody. There's the candle story. Okay. Okay, on with the product. I got Nyla's curler for Christmas and then Brian decided that it was the only one she's ever gonna like. So <laughs> she decided that she had to buy it. And but it actually is an one. amazing one. It's a Mac one. Yeah, but she definitely could have bought, she, she literally wouldn't use any other one. She would steal mine every day. Mm -hmm. Anyways, <laughs> Taylor got this cute. Shirt. Oh, this is so cute, guys. Zara has the best deals and best prices of things. Isn't it cute? Yeah. She's just gonna wear this with like a black shirt on underneath with her cute skirt. Yes, You're gonna wanna see that on her blog and her blog. Her blog and her blog. Blog and blog. Because she's gonna have it in both places. She's gonna link a lot of cute clothes. So you're gonna wanna check them out in the link below. We got this shirt for London. We got something for London because she wasn't able to come with us since she was at her camp. And I was so sad. I just wanted all of the girls to be there shopping with us. I thought if we brought her home a present, maybe she'd be okay with it. My mom got this shirt. I like mock neck shirts. We got a present, another one. Oh, we got I'm a present. I'm show what it is. <laughs> it's a present. Someone. My dad. That's why we can't show. Back Last but not least, my mom got some shoes. Do, 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 do. So cute. These are from Sorel. Yeah, aren't we're not they gonna so cool? We're not gonna keep anything here. We're not keeping anything. 
anything, as Lexi said. Maybe these will be linked on Taylor's blog too. Yeah. Because, aren't they cool? Yeah, so that was part of my gift card too. So yes, I had the best Mother's Day shopping experience ever and I just am so grateful yeah. for you guys for your Mother's Day present. Thank you so, so much. My favorite things that we got were definitely a perfume. It's gonna be fun to wear those. Because I didn't get anything, but we're sharing these, so. <laughs> I wish the screen could be scratch and sniff. You could scratch it and smell what the perfume smells like. Let's try it, let's see if we spray this perfume on the camera if you guys can smell it. <laughs> oh, actually, I don't want Just kidding, we better not do that. New. Look at it. Okay guys, I had a package come that I ordered, obviously. Guys, come on. Okay, so. Okay, so my pack. Okay, I ordered a phone case and it's here. So now I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do a little unboxing. I'm so excited. I hope it's actually cute because. Oh my gosh. It won't even Okay. I ordered a phone case and it's here. So now we're gonna do an unboxing. I'm actually scared. Hopefully it like fits. Oh my gosh. It's even cuter in person. Okay. Because I have this. At first I had like a super yellow one. And all the other phone cases that I got, usually I'd get like silicone and they would just like break and like chip. I switched to these ones, which I love because every time I drop my phone, it just stays good. And I got these off Amazon. Clears isn't very cute and I got yellow super fast. So this is like a slightly new one, but I was like, why not just get a super cute one for summer? Tell me that's not like the cutest phone case you've ever seen. It's perfect for summer. Holy, okay, okay. No way, look at that. Hello? Hello? Just kidding. Oh my gosh. I literally am in love with it. It's from Poland Bear. Poland Bear. Like that. So, if you want to match me, you can just go buy it because I'm literally in love with it, so. <laughs> I spy with my little eye a TV on in the shed, which means London is out here watching a show. I can't wait to talk to London about how camp went. Really? Yeah, so today we didn't actually, well it was like, it was fun. It wasn't like super fun because we didn't go out in the woods or anything today. They were just teaching us about the woods today. So it was kind of more like school out, today. Yeah, but it wasn't like really doing work. It was pretty much like activity. That's cool, and you about were about good friends. About the woods. But you love stuff like that, huh? Yeah. Well, Lyndon, I saw a show, my show bestie at the mall who asked about you. She saw all of us and she said, where's London? And, and she was sad you weren't there, but. Mm. Well, hi. <laughs> hi. Say hi now. Yes, you can. <laughs> now tomorrow's gonna be good. You gotta go to bed early. You guys, London has to be there at 7 a.m. We are not morning people around here. And wait, we have to be there at 7 a.m. Yeah, that means you have to wake up at 6 a.m. Oh my god. Okay. Are you guys morning people or night people? Let us know down below in the comments. Definitely night. Definitely night people. I okay, awesome. So happy you're home. Love you. And by the way, London, I forgot to tell you, I bought you a present at the mall. <gasps> do you want to see what it is? Yeah, I do. Okay, come see. Were you? Sad that you weren't at the mall with us? I didn't even know you went to the mall. Oh. I would've came. Yeah, I was actually waiting for you and then everyone was like, we can't wait that long. London. <laughs> Do you like it? to see it on. It's gonna be even cuter when you're wearing it. Okay, tomorrow is a big day, Lund. I have Clear Creek for 12 hours. Oh my gosh, and she has to wake up at? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. It's 11 p.m. And it's 11 p.m. So she's not gonna get enough sleep. And she's in bed. And Brighton is waking up really early tomorrow because I'm here really early. Yeah, so what time do you have to leave again? 6.30? 6.30, I have to wake up at 6. So you guys are both waking up at 6 tomorrow. Mm. It's gonna be rough. So tired already. Mm. I'm actually gonna be filming them at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning so you guys can see how the morning goes. Should we? Do you double dog dare me? We're gonna do it. Good night, besties. See you in the morning. 
Okay, one more thing, P.S. I just walked in the kitchen and Taylor is here with me and I told her how I'm waking up at 6 a.m. and she goes, so the phrase, see you at 6 a.m. is literal, which is, was so funny to me because we always joke around and say see you at 6 a.m. because we never wake up at 6 a.m. And now I literally can say see you at 6 a.m. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll... You might have to bump it up like, see you at 4.30. <laughs> yeah. No, we'll just keep it at 6. I'll see you guys at 6 a.m.